Hi, in this video I will show you how to shoot HLG in the Fujifilm X-T3 or a newer model, edit it in DaVinci Resolve and upload it to YouTube as an HDR high dynamic range video. My name is Ulf Ellingson and if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. So let's get right into it. First, we'll set up the camera. So we're going to the menu here and go up to video camera. The movie mode that you can set whatever you like. I have it to 4K 69, 30 frames per second, and there are three options for megabits per second, 100, 200, and 400. And what you will eventually upload to um, YouTube just has to be like 60, 70. So 100 is perfectly fine. So go out from this. Uh, the one thing that obviously you have to set correctly is this one. The HLG for wherever you're recording, the SD card or the HDMI. And in this case it has to be the same to both. This is the standard uh, film simulation. But when you put it in HLG it says there H. 265 only. We go up here and you see H265 is the only option when you use HLG. So you can't mistake on that. And the rest is, I'll just go through it quickly. It doesn't matter basically. The output is info display I have on, otherwise you won't see it, but it doesn't matter. Just a little quick tip. Do use the time code. If you have more than one camera, this is excellent because it has the time code in free run. So you can coordinate and synchronize different files very easy with that. All right, so now we go back here and it's ready to start film. And I want to show you one thing here when you're filming. I selected this scene because it has a lot of contrast between black and white. And as you see here on the screen, on the histogram, I'm trying to fit it in and really use all the range I have available for me, all the way up to the whitest without bleaching anything. I can sacrifice a little bit of black if I have to, but mm, I do want the white to be there all the way. So now that's recorded and we can look at the film from the camera. And this is the footage as recorded by the camera in hybrid log gamma. This can be uploaded to YouTube, but now we're going to edit it. All right, so now we have the footage. We have it imported to DaVinci Resolve. We have it here and we need to edit it. So how do we do that? How to set it up? Let's take the project settings. The master settings you do as usual, image scaling, but it's the color management. This is the crucial one. So let's go up here and check. The easy solution is to take color managed, automatic, put this in high dynamic range. This is crucial that it's not in SDR. And the output color space, put it in HDR also. And why not use HLG since that's what the footage is in. Less changes, better quality. Do not use one of the SDR because that will defeat the purpose. This will you work, but uh, YouTube requires the file to, to have metadata as to which monitor was used. And if it doesn't have that, it assumes a specific monitor. So you're better off using HLG, I would think. Uh, I've tried. This doesn't matter for the outcome, if that's on or off. And that's the only thing that's crucial here in the project setting that's different from the usual. And now we import the file. And we add it to the, I'll do option A to add it. And we can look at it here. Now the question is, is this monitor, is your monitor a high dynamic range or not? In the Macintosh, if you go to the display, you can see here I have three displays. The main one 
is not. Number two is not the HDR. But number three, here I have an option of high dynamic range. Now I turned it off. So the reason my number two doesn't have it is because I'm using a USB-C to HDMI adapter that doesn't support HDR. I will change that. It's better to have HDR for this. All right. So now we have this and we are editing in an HDR monitor, at least I am. And I can go to color space. And here in the scopes, I've set this up to, uh, let me sh let me zoom in here. Let me, let me take it out like so and zoom in. And you can see the, I think it's up here, the scale style. I used to have it in 10 bits. So you have a linear scale from 0 to 2 to the power of 10. But by sorry, but by putting it in HDR, which is SD2084 or HLG. The monitor I'm using now is actually an SD2084. When it comes from YouTube, it will be an HLG. So when I put it in this, it becomes a logarithmic scale. And the bottom portion is what is equivalent to the standard dynamic range. And then the, there is an added range for, for high dynamic range. When you upload it to YouTube, YouTube will create the SDR footage from the HDR footage, which is quite similar. It might be some differences. There is a possibility in YouTube to actually make your own lookup table a lot to get it exactly the way you want in SDR, but I leave that for the experts. So let me see if I do some editing so you can see what it looks like here. I'll change the color temperature and you can see that the peaks up here. I can use that since the brightest is the lamp to get them to be neutral and here we can check I'll close this we can check the the footage if i darken it you can see that there is information all the way up in the brightest and if i lighten it you can see that there is a lot of information even in the black the coffee brewer so this is the big advantage to have 10 bits of dynamic range rather than just eight. It makes a difference, especially in a scene like this, which has a tremendous amount of dynamic range in it. So I won't do any change here to make it as quick as possible. I will reset all the node grades and I'll go to deliver. And here the crucial thing is to export as 265. And I'll give it some name, untitled, would do. And uh, basically, the default settings will work here. Automatic quality, and main 10 encoding profile. The, red, the other things here we shouldn't need to change. Okay, so we add that to the render queue, and I'll do a render. And we'll see how long time this could take. While we're waiting for that to export, let me show you what will happen next. You will go to YouTube and upload it the grade the same way as usual. And once it's ready and you look at it, you can go here and check. Quality and it will say these options here without HDR. Why? Don't get too worried because it takes time. It will take be somewhere between 6 hours and 48 hours for the HDR version to come online. And furthermore, you will only see it if you are on a device that supports HDR. So let me show you now what happens when I reload this page, this window, I open this window on an SDR display and now I have it on an HDR display and I reload it 
and lo and behold now it says HDR behind so you need to be on a device that supports HDR and wait between 6 and 48 hours and then you will have it okay so let's go back and wait for this to upload all right so now i showed you the whole process and you should be able to repeat this yourself good luck and please again remember to subscribe to my channel